done is I've changed my idle up two to be in between. So my, my idle up one is kind of just average. My idle up two is a little bit closer to my 3D idle up. What I'm trying to do is get my two modes close to the same so I can switch between them without a huge RPM change. So I'm kind of walking the RPM up a little bit. Okay. Cool. These guys keep doing approaches. I think they're both practicing landing, so you might have to wait. I'm going to take off. I'll stay out of your way. Coming down from the north. This is a little bit higher RPM. Makes flying a little bit more sporty. But I'm not going to do any 3D stuff. So if I switch to the mode where I can actually fly 3D a little bit better, it'll idle up a little. It feels a little bit more, but not tremendously. So I don't have a huge jump. It doesn't start acting weird. Yeah, that's a little bit higher than I thought it would be. I've also reduced the time by a minute to account for the higher RPM. I'm going to walk the RPM a little bit more in this next round. How much more time you got yeah, there, Jim? No. All right. I got two Mike. minutes. All right, I'm going to have to come in because I got one minute left.
It's an awesome heli. You really gotta get that little spinner top to slow these things down. <clears throat> what is it, a little thing that spins around on top? Yeah, there's a little uh, disc you can bolt onto here so I can put my palm in there. To oh, slow I see it down what you're saying. A bit cool. And I gotta get different these different studs on here that actually click in versus these pins. It's a pain to take this canopy on and off all the time. I'll put the rest of the canopy and body or the mounts on. I've got a whole tail section to go on, but I'm gonna do that this winter because I gotta take the whole tail apart to put it on. Hmm. That makes it look like a real tail boom. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think it you showed have, it. I think yeah. you showed that to me. Yeah, it won't have these strut supports, but it's it's pretty rigid. It's the same design as this. Should be pretty good since you stopped a minute early. Oh well, no, I had 20 seconds left. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, 20? Correct. Yes, I, I took a minute off of my normal timer. I'm hoping it's at 60%. If it is, then I can put it back. But you want to see the size difference on drones in the helicopter. Here's a three inch drone. <laughs> wow. Just got to touch it. Just got to touch it. Yeah, yeah, 69%, so well, nice. three nines again. So yeah, I can keep the minute on there, on that idle up. These 6,000s are nice. HRBs. Probably one of the best batteries I've had. These are not the graphene version. Swear by though. Get a little bit more weight out of the graphene. So you got a graphene 6000 versus that. Let's see if I got this. Everybody always asks me, yeah, but are they as good as the HRB? <laughs> battery I think it's telling me I bet. Yeah. These things take some weird batteries. There you go. Okay, so I went on grams. Ah, low battery. Yeah it's not gonna work. Yeah. Next time oh. I'll run. Yeah, but the difference, you can tell there's a little bit, it's a little heavier. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit it's different little shape. Bit thicker, yeah. yeah. So it's got, it's a little bit different, a little bit wider, just a different shape. Mm -hmm. But it does feel, it's a little heavier. I mean, for these, I mean, I'm getting no better time out of these than these. Mm -hmm. I mean, this just, Supposedly I can charge this. This will last longer. This will last 1,000 plus, 300 plus charge, whatever the lifespan of these things. This is a lot better lifespan. Okay. That's all you're really getting. Yeah, but when you're spending this much money, I mean, this battery, I buy two of these for the price of this. Yeah. So I'm getting just as good a time. I'd rather buy these. And really, the lifespan, I haven't had one go bad yet. So. Cool.